Alright, uh, these little pepper plants here this year we had, uh, never really took off. Uh, they've been in the ground for months now, and they're still itty bitty, haven't of course produced anything. There's that one, that one, there's one over there. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to dig these things up and transplant them into one of my little wicking buckets. And we're going to take it inside. It's going to be part of the inside garden. We're going to do uh, a couple of pepper plants and a couple of tomato plants. Just see how it goes. Uh, keep them going throughout the winter. So, I'm just going to dig around this pretty wide area. You know, try to get as much roots as I can. And then uh, we're going to take them over and pot them up. Take them inside and see how this thing works out so all right got everything potted up in the waking beds now i just got to take them inside uh yeah these things once once i got them dug up i mean they had a decent little root structure on them so they're not too bad and then these are some peppers that i just recently started they weren't done that early uh i dug up one of the cherry tomatoes we're gonna see how that does went ahead and staked it off and then these are some uh, little cuttings I took from one of the other tomato plants. And uh, put a little rooting hormone on there and we'll see if they take off or not. Alright, and we're going to get these things inside. Alright, well here's what we got for our little inside garden area. For, uh, for now we might add some more to it. Uh, we got our lime tree, the pineapples, there's a couple of um, avocados. Uh, here's our cherry tomato, got a couple peppers, some more tomatoes there, uh, got our mint, and I got to do got an open pot, and over there we got some house plants, and aloe, comfrey, some more mint, rose, and this is another one of our big, <clears throat> I think this is almost a year old, it's a, uh, avocado so all right we'll, we'll keep posted somewhat and how we're gonna do it and uh the plan with this is i'm gonna do 15 days with the spouts on this side and then i'm gonna turn it around put the spout on the other side 15 days and as you can see we got a bunch of windows this is a south facing window and then uh here's one of the grow lights I think I'm going to get uh, two more of those. Hang one basically above each window. This is the plan. So you can see from back here. We have one above each window. It'll help uh, give some additional lighting. Because uh, once winter kicks in of course. I mean the sun's going to be lower. So we'll have more sun coming in the window. While the sun's out. But it's not going to be as intense. Or for as long. So. And. We'll probably do a whole another maybe a whole another row here of stuff so oh yeah and then we got a tree and another house plant and i think that's some basil it's all kinds of stuff in this good sunroom so all right that's it for now hope uh this might inspire some of y'all to bring some plants indoors and keep them going have a good one